So I have sad news, friends. My fridge broke yesterday. So doing this military diet, I've been drinking a lot of water. But I do not like room temperature water. My water has to be fucking cold. So I am currently going to the store to buy cold water. I'm just getting back from the store, and I really loaded up. I got a big bag of ice. I got a big bottle of water, because I'm going to put that in the freezer. And I got a small bottle for myself right now. My landlord is supposed to be sending somebody to fix my fridge today, but I'm going to be 100% blunt. I don't really rely on anything he tells me, so I'm not counting on anybody actually showing up today. I'm not saying my fridge isn't going to get fixed ever at all. I'm just saying I'm not counting on it happening today. So I've kind of prepared myself. So today's day three. Uh, had the crackers, cheese, and apple for breakfast. Uh, got some working out in today. My routine was a little bit shorter than I wanted, but with the um, lack of food that I'm on, I didn't want to use up all my energy. So I'm uh, getting my supper ready to take to work. Tonight's supper is one cup of tuna, a half a banana, and the one cup of ice cream, but I am going to be saving the ice cream for when I get home from work. And after I get this put together, I'm going to make lunch. I'm not really, really hungry right now, um, but I have been working out throughout the day. And uh, I'm walking to work today, so I don't really wanna drain myself of energy too, too much before I have to leave, because I probably won't get supper into me to till about, um, I'd say probably about six, so I don't want to drain myself too fast so that uh, I'm dragging my ass at work. For today's lunch, single slice of bread. Uh, if you did notice, I did go for the whole wheat bread for the bread. Uh, I actually went for the healthiest looking bread that I could find that didn't have too much grains or whatever on it because that's not really what the diet calls for. Uh, I also went for the store made bread because I find that the store made breads actually have less preservatives and whatnot in them. And I get one egg. So I actually just ran into a problem. Um, I stuck the egg in the freezer because my fridge is on the fritz and I thought the freezer was also dead, but it is not. So it's a little bit frozen. <laughs> uh, so we'll see how this works out. I don't think it'll hurt the way it's going to cook, but we'll, we'll see. I am actually going to throw a little bit of pepper on this egg too. Uh, I haven't been using a lot of spices or anything like that. Um, I do believe that the steaks that I bought, uh, I believe they were spiced as I bought them from the like meat department at the grocery store. Um, but I haven't been using any condiments or sauces or a lot of spices, but I think for today I am going to put a little pepper in my, uh, in my egg. I do have a little bit of a confession to make too. Uh, I cheated a little bit last night. My wife was trying to finish off the bottle that was in the fridge and she didn't really actually want the rest of the glass, so I just finished the glass off for her. So I did cheat a little bit last night, but I, I half a glass of wine, I don't think it's going to really hurt me too, too much. My egg's almost done, so I'm about to eat and probably watch a little more John Oliver. And then I should be off to work fairly soon. And yeah. So I'm at the end of day three now. I uh, just got home from work uh, a little while ago and just finished eating my ice cream uh, for the last little bit of my uh, diet. Um, so back to normal food tomorrow, normal ish. I'm still going to be trying to uh, maintain uh, uh, healthier choices and uh, smaller portions and stuff like that um, when I'm off the diet. That being said, the wife and I are going away for the weekend. Uh, I'll tell you guys about that tomorrow, uh, but we're going away for the weekend. So I'm probably going to indulge a little bit, um, but not too much, maybe a little bit. So uh, I'll give you a breakdown of the diet. Uh, just how it went day by day. Uh, what I heard a lot of was people were saying that they're really hungry on the diet. Um, and I can certainly admit that the first day was like that. I was I was pretty hungry in between meals. Uh, not consistently. I mean, it's not like I'd eat a meal and still feel hungry. But like within a couple of hours of me eating that meal, 
I would start to feel hungry. Uh, the second day, I didn't necessarily feel that hunger, but I, it was weird. I started dreaming about food. Um, instead of getting hungry within that couple of hours, I wouldn't necessarily feel physically hungry, but I would start, like, dreaming about the next meal. <laughs> might have had something to do with hunger, but I think it might have had something to do with just a general lust for food, because uh, for some reason that second day, I... Uh, uh, I believe I mentioned in yesterday's vlog, but uh, I had the worst craving for strawberries yesterday um, that I've ever had in my life. I don't think I've ever craved strawberries that bad in my life. I did not have any. They're not on the diet. Um, hopefully, maybe I can get some into me tomorrow or maybe uh, sometime throughout the weekend. That would be nice. Uh, today, today I actually, today was good except... Um, I, I felt like I lost energy today. There was at least two different parts of the day where uh, I just felt drained. Like I didn't feel hungry, I just had no energy. Uh, now that being said, I did work out a little bit more today than I have the last two days. I really pushed myself as far as uh, the physical activity went today. Tomorrow I'm free of the diet for four days. Uh, like I said, I am going to try and make some healthy choices, but uh, not necessarily all healthy choices. Uh, actually, what I'm looking forward to the absolute most is my cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Really, I think I mentioned this yesterday, but I'm really, really looking forward to that cup of coffee. But yeah, so I guess I'll be talking to you guys tomorrow, let you guys know what's going on for the weekend. And uh, yeah, I guess that's really it for me today. Uh, military diet did go pretty good. I mean, anybody who may be thinking about doing it, it's really not that hard. I, it is sparse portions, but, you know, it's, it's not too bad. It's not that hard to get through. I mean, I did it. So, anyways, but that's all I got for you guys today, so, I'm out.